Alright, let's see. Still 70, 75 in California. And uh, a couple things spotted during the week. This is the same color orange Seth over there at Knee Down for God is using on his Briggs motor. Got a little Briggs project going on the side, but no time to play, man. Got enough things stressing me out here on the work scene. But I got one in the oven. And some, some quality time to spend with this guy. Just got to block these pieces out, get them in color, and we're rolling. But what takes so long to get to them? Life happens. I got a guide coat on here. I'm just going to go at it with 400 on a block. And then take a little break on that other project out there that's trying to fight me in the paint booth. They try to fight me, you know? The waterborne stuff takes a little longer. work with. Anyhow, getting this caught up here. I don't want any vents in this at all. After the time we put into this, we need this straight here. 400. It's going to paint straight on that. It's straight enough. I didn't use the primer to uh, do the body work. The primer is just uh, there to paint on, not to fill and make up for mistakes. Oh man, need a tip for the day. Check this out. Here's your tip for the day. This is how you clean a paint gun if you're using waterborne paint. Well, you don't dump it all in the drain, but, you know, once you got it reasonably clean, this little doohickey here comes off one of them cargo nets. You see them all over on the back of trucks. And it just so happens to be the perfect size to trigger that gun like that. As long as you catch it before the paint got a chance to dry, the water will just flow it all out of it, every little bit. It's an amazing way to clean a paint gun. It's automatic. As long as you keep it wet. There's that little ring around the tub there you gotta get first, but you know what I mean. And then just set it somewhere off to the side and let it do that. Keep putting water in it. Uh-huh. Tip of the day. That's what that's what's good about gravity feed guns, is cleaning them. Especially if you're gonna use water. Waterborne paint. I just keep filling that up. And it keeps cleaning. We come back over here and go back to work. Because I've been wanting to get this done. And nobody will give me the time. If it isn't one thing, it's another. pieces are like this. They're all just ready for that final sand and paint. We're there on this guy. We've been there. Oh yeah. Everybody's been busy. Actually, the longer this stuff sits in primer, the better. It's not that thick. But if you can let primer sit a few days, not rush it. I know a lot of the guys up in Canada do, doing rust out, so they got to get them in and out. I've been watching the YouTubes up there. Three and four cars at a time. That's working. I used to do that <laughs> until I found out how light motorcycle parts were. Way lighter than moving a car around. But there's money in them, I guess. There's money in cars. 
So it's kind of like a miniature car. There's a miniature quarter panel right there. You could set just as much profit on the coffee table doing motorcycles as you can in your driveway doing cars. Uh-huh. Gotta make an electric car. I want to make an electric car that you use the battery more for household than you do for getting somewhere. Getting somewhere is just the icing on the cake, so that way you're not in a competition to go the fastest or the farthest or the longest. Just have, you know, like a battery bank with wheels on it. So you use that battery bank where you live. Fill that with solar panel and wind, and you live off that. And then, if you happen to need to go to the store, just unplug, go to the store, and be right back. You know, the only thing you got to worry about is the fish tank. You got that covered with the windmill. Anyway, had to get a video out there. Been tired, been working, been doing the extra little bit to get them right. I don't like them to have the littlest thing wrong. <laughs> So, probably sounds like a sleepy, a sleepy video, but winter's coming, it gets in your bones, slows you down, huh? Not me. No, 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 no. Just keep going. See that strong line there? I don't like that. I like it to be soft and broken up. I should have put, maybe I put tape there. I don't like those kind of lines. That'll be alright. Little blend. Little feather. But I'm just going 400 because I know it's straight enough. Sometimes you got to go with 180 and then prime it again and 180. But if you get it straight just with the glazing putty, you save the price on the primer. You could do it in glazing putty like you know you're going to just paint it. Pretend like you don't got no primer. And then just put a little bit on. But use good primer. Gotta use two part primer. How's that look? It's gonna be alright. Probably a boring video, huh? Except for the mini bike. Mini bike for our friend Seth, building Briggs and Stratton engine over there. Who did I forget to mention? Rick Fix got his car. Greg Porter got his thing painted. Wow. That's a fun video, like Top Gun. Tommy Shoes, working on the house. Winter's coming. Oh man, I hope he gets the house done. He can go back in the garage and work on the Corvette. Times change with the season, I guess. But not up there on the government. I've been watching the government still. I'm still watching the government. And the government. They're just sitting there. Man. They should all listen to us instead of us listening to them. If they watched YouTube just for a minute, right? Just for a night, caught, caught the YouTube garage gang. We need a representative up there. We need a YouTube garage gang member up there. Yeah. Look at the hair on her. Oh, my God. Okay, man. I'm going to keep slugging it out. Do the right thing, because it's the right thing to do.